Last December, President Obama announced a change in relations with Cuba in hopes of lifting any trade embargo. Now, just last month, each country opened embassies in the other's capitals, and there's been growing debate about how the normalization would impact the ag industry, specifically Georgia's poultry business. Congressional action would still be needed to define the policy framework for a more normal economic relationship. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. In the most significant changes in our policy in more than 50 years, we will end an outdated approach that for decades has failed to advance our interests, and instead, we will begin to normalize relations between our two countries. Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack said the changes would be a boon for U.S. farmers. Jim Sumner, president of the USA Poultry and Egg Export Council in Stone Mountain, said that many Americans might be surprised to hear about our current poultry exports to Cuba. They fall under the Trade Sanctions Reform and Export Enhancement Act. According to U.S. Cuba Trade and Economic Council, the U.S. exported just shy of $350 million of agricultural goods to Cuba. Frozen chicken leads the way. In fact, chicken represented nearly half the value, with $144 million in sales. Anything that can help open up the market, open up travel and tourism to Cuba is going to help us. Uh, it's going to help Georgia agriculture as well in, in many ways. Of course, we are, uh, other than Florida, we're in the very closest proximity to take advantage of it. And of course, with the Georgia ports, uh, if we start shipping products out of uh, Savannah, Brunswick, uh, perfect opportunities for us. Sumner said he had a concern about one major change under the proposed U.S.-Cuba relations that the loosening of restrictions on private sector credit for Cuban purchases of U.S. agricultural products. The only thing that's not going to help us is, is uh, if they change the trade terms because currently we're in a unique situation with Cuba. They have to pay cash in advance for all of their shipments. You know, we can't lose. Uh, we're guaranteed payment. Uh, before the product unloads in the ports there in Havana or elsewhere. So the thing that is already improving is to allow U.S. banks to work in Cuba. Now we don't have to go through a third country bank, as had been the case, such as a European banks. We can, we'll soon be able to work with U.S. banks, but also the expectation is going to come from the Cubans that we're going to start being able to give them credit. And that's not necessarily a good thing to give Cuba credit uh, because of their very fragile and suffering economy. And it's safe to say not everybody thinks this is the right time to pursue vast changes with the Castro government. Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter told us that after a recent visit to the island nation, he believes the people of Cuba need the embargo lifted, but their government has signaled very little change in some of their political practices. I recognize that, that this could be a boom for our agriculture in the state of Georgia, particularly in the first district and, and some of the products that we grow here. And we want to do everything we can, you know, you, you only have to look at as far as what we've done with Trade Promotion Authority and, and some of the trade deals that will be coming up. Uh, it's vitally important in the 1st Congressional District. We've got two ports here, two major ports, Savannah and Brunswick, and that's going to be important for us. But at the same time, we cannot ignore the fact that the number one responsibility of the federal government is to protect our citizens. If the Cuban government is cooperating with these terroristic nations and organizations, we cannot just turn a, a blind eye to that. According to a recent article on the USDA website, the prospects for any U.S.-Cuba agricultural trade will depend on which policy measures the Cuban government will use to foster further economic growth and development.